we have completed our header part now we are going to work on this form this form whatever it is visible we are going to work on that i will come to index.php file this is our header we have created now below this header i'm just going to write one comment i will write here form section let me just increase the size now inside this form section i will create one div and for this div i will give the class as container inside this div i will be creating one section and inside this section h3 i will give the class as heading and here i will give at products i will save i will refresh this now you can see here i am having at products not to get confused with this demo project and this project inside this title i will just write here project i will come and in my and here inside the title i will give project okay the project which we are doing i have just changed the title so that in future when our project is getting completed we don't get confused with that and below this h3 i will be creating form and inside form as of now action i am not going to give anything but i will be adding the class class is equal to add product we have one more attribute method that we are going to write when we start writing our php code now inside this form i will be creating four input fields input into four i will bring each input field down one two three our first input field will be for the product name so inside this i will give placeholder i will write enter product name i will save this and here if i refresh you can see here i am having the placeholder enter product name and i am having four more fields and inside this input field i will be giving the class class and inside this i will just give input fields and also i will be giving this required keyword so without filling this name i cannot submit this data inside the database and also when we are writing php code one more attribute is very very important that is name attribute as of now we are working only on html part so anything related to php we are not going to include now same thing i will copy this and inside this this and this i'm just going to paste enter product name then second will be enter product price third will be for the image so i'm not going to use this placeholder and finally fourth one will be for the submit button i will just remove this now for this price i will change the type to number then we have this placeholder enter product price and also i am just going to give one more property that is min minimum value i am just going to give zero and inside this input field type i will be giving file because whenever we use images we have to give the type as file name attribute we are going to use later and class will be input fields and this will also be a required field without image we cannot enter the data inside the database finally for submit button type i will change it to submit then we have instead of writing input field class i will be writing here submit btn i will write submit btn whatever names you want you can write and also i am going to add one more property and from here i will be removing this required keyword instead i will be writing here value and inside this value i will be adding here add product add product i will save this let me just close and i will save 
I will refresh. You can see for file I am having for images I am having this choose file. We have this button add product and for price we are having this number type so that we can give the numbers. Minimum value is zero, so it will just stop here. And we have this enter product name. Our form is completed. We have created the header part and also we have completed the form part. Next, we are going to separate the files and we will be including our CSS sheet.